They look good with you, Logan? Yep, looks good. I'm missing a question mark, but that doesn't really mean anything. So, um, question mark, where are we missing a question in, mark? It's a, well, it's a question. So. Did you know the date was, and it'll print such and such? And, yeah, let's go ahead and, well, you know what? We'll throw it down here like this. And this will all be on one line, multiple lines, or what? One. one well, line. it'll go after a high crisp, and then that will all be on one line. So all this will be on one line. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and save this out. And let's minimize it, and let's go ahead, open our browser back up, and let's refresh the page. So look at that. So now we've got, hi there, Kristen. Did you know the date was, and in today's date, and the question mark, all on one line? No, I didn't. Okay, yes, I believe that. <laughs> we lose track of time all the time around here. So does the date function just look at the date on your clock on the computer or what? On the server. Okay. Okay, and it just feeds that back. Which, in this case, your computer is the server. That's right. So So originally, yes. Yes. Ah. <laughs> but, yeah, if you're running, you know, there's a web server running on some remote server somewhere, it's going to look at the server's date. Okay. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and come back in here, and let's take a little bit closer of a look at this. So we'll open our little script back up. What's happening right here? Well, we're coming in here, and we're echoing out Kristen with a force line return. And we come down here, and we say, did you know the date was? Now we don't have a force line return, so we're just going to keep appending stuff to the end or concatenating. Um, in this case right here, we're now going to come back, and we're going to echo out the result of what this date function gives us back. Now let me give you a quick overview of what a function is. Basically, there are a ton of functions that are built into PHP that you can call on that will do specific work for you. Okay? Date is one example. There's a bunch of other ones. Logan, quickly, throw some examples my way. Well, I know of a lot of string handling functions basically do stuff like you printed out. Um, you have like a mixture of capitals and lowercase, and did you know what data it was? You could actually feed that into a function and make it all capitals or make it all lowercase. Okay, so what you're saying then is those these functions are just there to do work that makes life easier for you. Right. As opposed to going through each character one by one and checking to see if it was lowercase, and if so, then making it uppercase. Well, that would be such a pain. A lot of little monkeys. Yeah. What? Sure. <laughs> little monkeys that do all your work for you. Yeah, there's little monkeys in the background. And functions um, often take information and return information, right? Right. And in this case, we've got this function here that we're sending it some information. This is called an argument. The information that we're sending it in this particular case is formatting information. We're telling it how to format the date when it goes to print it out. Now, this function, after it gets that information, it then finds out what the date is, and it returns it back. And you can pretend like... Basically, the area that I've got highlighted right now is where the information is returned back to. In other words, substitute out that whole highlighted area for the result of what date gave you. Okay? So then it would just simply echo out whatever today's date is. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So right now we're using a formatting with a small m, a small d, and a capital Y. And if you look again at the web page, you'll see that we've got 05192002. Well, you see right now we've got... A four-digit number for the year, right? So if you use the lowercase, it would be two? Two-digit, yeah. Okay. Avoid the whole Y2K problem. Uh, <laughs> so let's just take this capital. Let's go ahead and make it lower, and we'll save it out. And let's go ahead and bring our page back up and refresh it. And now you've got 051902. Mm. Now, the first thing I would think about if I was new to all this is, well, that's pretty cool there, Buzz, but where do you get these things from? Right. So, I mean – help. So what I can do is let's just jump in here and go over to www.php.net. And from php.net, you've got search for, and there's several different places where you can search for stuff. But what I want to do is search in the function list. Okay, so I'm interested in that date that you just saw. So I'm going to search for the date function in the function list and go and retrieve the information. There it is, date, description, what it is, um, the format stuff in which it takes in, and then it starts to get into the following characters are recognized in the format string. And it just goes into, look at this, AM, PM. Ah, so that must mean that the date function deals with time as well. Right. Okay. Like hours and minutes. Hours, and minutes. Seconds. Absolutely. In fact, look at that. Hour. Wow, you're so smart. 12 hour Ooh. format, um, <laughs> 24 hour format. Go back to sleep. Uh, <laughs> minutes. Um, so there's just all sorts of different ways that you can control formatting this. And if you keep on scrolling down, they give you some basic examples. And if we come down a little bit further, 
Now they're going to give you a whole bunch of different examples right here where they're just taking this information and, and they're storing it back into a variable. Don't let that confuse you <laughs> because we'll talk about that coming up soon. But you'll see how they're just doing a simple um, call to date, and they're getting the information back. They're asking for it in different ways. Okay, a second ago we saw it with the slashes in here. Here it's asking for the month, day, and year uh, with a two-digit year, and it's got dots in there as opposed to the slashes. Okay, a bunch of good information that you can find in here. Again, just going over to php.net and doing a search up at the top in the function list. Okay, so let's go ahead and just back that back up a little bit to our little page. And, you know, you figure if we can go ahead and throw in the date, why not let's throw in the time as well. Might as well. And so just come on down here and just jump back over here and echo out. And we could start this with a... Little line break. Line break action. Ah. And then say, and that the time is space. Now, you see how I'm echoing these out on their own lines? I can also put additional stuff all on a single line by adding them together or concatenating one thing to another. That means just appending that? from one to the other. Aren't you supposed to be sleeping right now? <laughs> Those Sorry. sleeping pills aren't working. Adam, yeah. get some more. <laughs> okay. Um, to add to a string, okay, just to append to the end of it, we can simply use a dot. Now, the spaces are not necessary, but I, I just like to do it. It keeps things looking clean for me. Yeah, easy to see. So what I want to do is comp uh, append to the end of this, and we'll just tell it that we want to add another date. And then let's say, um, let's go ahead and give it a format of, in this case, hours. And now with the capital H, we're going to be looking at, Military time, right? Right, 24 hour. 24 hour. And I you know, might as well do it that way since we're sending these CDs all over the world. And seconds. And let's just go ahead and end that off. So I is minute. So that is correct. Okay. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this, add it to the end of this, and we'll have one line. And if you right. were to put that break on the end of the question mark, it would have done the same thing, right? Yeah, if I would have put it right here, absolutely. Okay. It would have still put a uh, four-star line return. So let's go ahead and save this right here. And let's see what we've got. So when we refresh our page, there you go. Uh, how are you doing, Adam? I'm doing great. Uh, does it make sense? Oh, that's easy. You ready to start writing PHP oh, right now? Yeah. Refresh it again. So we can. Oh, so we want to see the number actually change? Mm -hmm. Yay. 49, 50, 51, 50. That could be your new job. What? You stand here and just refresh this page. <laughs> Monitor the time. <laughs> yeah. And just any time I want to know what time it is, you just let me know. Okay. That sounds like a lot of fun. And technically, you're like an advanced alarm clock because I could walk by and say, Kristen, let me know when it's 1,800 hours. Ah. And you can just keep hitting refresh, and then you can go. So now I'm one of the 18, monkeys. 18, 18, 18, <laughs> 18, 18. Then until I hit the snooze, I just come by and slap you in the back of the head. Huh? I Adam? like it. I do, too. I wonder if we could market that. I don't think I'll be I that pleasant of an alarm. <laughs> Squeeze! <laughs> She'd actually bite you, and you're gonna slap this. <laughs> ah! That, Wake up! That wouldn't be good. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and come back in here, take a look at just a couple more things. Let's go ahead and get that back up. Let's say that I'm going to cut this line out all together, and I jump back out, and uh, let's say, man, we'll just throw one of those in, and. Okay, I'm um, now not in a script. So that's going to print out like normal, right? Right. I don't need to have no quotes around it, no terminators, no nothing like that, no echo command, etc. Right. I'm just back into doing a regular web page, right? Right, you're back in plain HTML at this you point. You got it. So um, let's say I want it now to say, um, okay, we're now back into a regular script. Um, let's go ahead and... So HTML just goes line for line. Yeah. Kay. Yeah, it's pretty pretty straightforward. Um, did you know that the time was – now we're still regular HTML, right? Right. All right, so now let's just take this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back into PHP again. I'm just wanting to demonstrate doing it again. This time instead of doing the less than question mark PHP, I'm going to do it the way that I normally like to do it, which is just going to be less than question mark. Okay, it's just kind of a shorthand way of doing it. And now we'll just come in here and say echo, and we'll do a little space in there if we wanted to, or do we have to? No, not necessarily. And nah, that's not even do that. We'll just say we're going to echo out the date, and again, we'll do the same thing that we did a second ago where we did our 
minutes. 